Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. If there's something you want me to react to, drop the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to anything goes in America. I mean to that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So we have the book of God, separate, the words of the prophet, separate, the words of the historian, separate, and our Arabian night, separate. And we do not treat them on equal level. We don't. Nobody does. No Muslim will say the Quran, the Hadith is equal to the Quran. Or uh, the, our historian, Imam Ghazali, you know, his writing are equal to Hadith. No, nobody does. Or our Arabian night is equal to Imam Ghazali. Nobody says that. They are all on different, different levels. And separate, separate compartments. The Bible, unfortunately, everything is in one book. The book of God is there. The book of the prophet is there. The book of the historian is there. And pornography is there. All in one book. And he doesn't know how to take things out, how to separate it. He can't. He can't now say, take this out and throw it away. He can't. There are millions and millions of Bible in the world. It is the world's bestseller. It is. So, this is the Bible. You have to know something about it. You're living in an environment of the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. You must know about the Bible. It will make your task easy to deal with people, to discuss with people, to attract people. The Quran, need I prove it to you? I know the answer is not necessary, but I'll give you a few examples. This book, purely on its human level, its contents on the human level. We're not talking about whether it's Allah's kalam or not, just on the human level. If Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he wrote this book, if he wrote this book, let's accept it for a moment. The enemies charge that Muhammad wrote the book. So, all right, he wrote the book. I said, this book written by Muhammad? He said, yes. I said, you know, there are 40 different authors put together wrote this book. 40. 40, 40, the Bible of the 66 books written by 40 different persons put together, produce this book, this one man job. Come on now, tell me now. How can you compare? Can you compare one man job? 40 people had to do this. On the human level, I said it outclasses everything that you got. And besides, this one book gives you answers to all your problems. All your problems are answered here. Here, the 66 books, you haven't got the answers yet. You are fumbling. You don't know what to do with your alcoholics. You can write very strongly. Jimmy Swaggart, he wrote a book on alcohol. This is a, a great curse in America. A major problem of America. And he gives figures. You know, this is statistics. He must have got it from the experts. He says there are 11 million drunkards in America. 11 million. Right, that's your figure. 11 million. And 44 million heavy drinkers. Drunkards are people who can't control themselves. The others are heavy drinkers. They're almost close by. And he says, and we have to agree with him. He said, I see no difference between the two. Between the drunkards and the heavy drinkers. He says, I don't see any difference. We need 55 million drunkards, according to Jimmy Swaggart. I said, one step further. Come with us a step further in Islam. Your social drinkers as well. Include them into your list. Because the Holy Prophet Muhammad he said, whatever intoxicates in greater quantity is forbidden even in smaller quantity. No excuse for a nip or a tot. <laughs> Include them as well. So you have more than 100 million drinkers. Answer to the problem, only Islam has. What does it say? One verse. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya yuhal lazina amanu. So you could do. Inna mal khamru. So most certainly intoxicants. Wal maisiru and gambling. Wal ansabu and fortune telling. Wal aslamu and idol worship. Rits. Inna mali shaitan. Are an abomination of Satan's handiwork. Fajtani buhu la'allakum tuflihun. It's a shan such abomination that he may prosper. The safety lies in abstinence. And the only religion on the face of the earth which says don't touch that devilish stuff is Islam. There's not another religion on earth. There's not another religious book on earth which says don't touch it. Don't go anywhere near it. 
The Christian missionaries and he's complaining about them. He himself, a preacher, evangelist, is complaining about other preachers, other evangelists. He said, they can't take up a stand against alcohol. He said, at the conference of evangelists, he said, people were asked, how many of you are prepared? You take a stand against alcohol. Please stand up. And he says, hardly anybody stood up. Because they say, and they reason, the preacher, the born again, he's got a new spirit into him, he says. You know, the spirit dwells in him. He's got the spirit of God in him. You know, he can sin no more. These sinless people, you know, they say, justify drink by saying that Jesus Christ turned water into wine at the marriage feast at Cana. If it is good enough for our God, it's good enough for us. That's the logic. And they're logical. And they say that this is the same W-I-N-E wine which Lot drank and cohibited with his daughters. Same W-I-N-E wine in Greek. This and that. Look, if Christ would turn water into wine, he is not a killjoy. Why should we be killjoys? <laughs> look, the logic is good. Now, the reason is because you haven't got it. And the reason you haven't got it is Jesus Christ, before he parted, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. I have many things to tell you, but you can't bear it. You haven't got the capacity. You are like little children. And the truth of this statement is writ large in the New Testament. Again and again, Jesus speaks about his disciples. He tells them, ye of little faith, ye of little faith. You've got no faith, be iman, without faith. How many times? Dozens of times. And he explains to them as if he's explaining to little children. And they can't understand. So he said, I even yet without understanding, yet? What's wrong with you? And when he's provoked further, he says, Oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I be with you? I say, if Jesus was a Japanese instead of a Jew, he would have committed that honorable harakiri, suicide. <laughs> Look this. Everything he says, they misunderstand. Everything. And everything he has said, his, his followers, disciples of today, they misinterpret. Everything, without exception. I can give you examples. So Jesus says, how be it? When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you to all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? So the Christian says, the Holy Ghost. Who's got it? Everyone. Every church. In my country, there are a thousand different churches and denominations among the whites of South Africa and 3,000 among the blacks. This morning I had a confirmation that you have 40 different Baptist churches in America. Different. One won't go to the other Baptist church. But me, I don't have music in the church. You have. You, he has music but he, he doesn't allow dancing and on. 40 different Baptist churches in America. I don't know altogether how many sects. And I'm discovering new, new names which I didn't know before. Cults. New, new cults. Jesus only. There's a new cult. You know, I know this from Jimmy Swaggart's book. I didn't know that there was a Jesus only. That means the Father is Jesus, the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and Jesus is Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's a Jesus only cult. You, know, you have people in your mix. You have funny, funny things here. <laughs> America is right for anything. America is ready. Wallah, it's ready for anything. You see, look, Sun Myung Moon, the Korean. You know, he comes here and he says he is Jesus Christ in the second coming. And there are people prepared to worship him. They worship him. Then, uh, there was a uh, one of our blacks, you know, Father Divine. He's dead now. This is Father Divine, he claimed to be God. And the Caucasian, the white man worshipped him, and the black man worshipped him, and everybody worshipped him. You got to make the claim. Swami Parvupada, who, uh, who started this Hare Krishna movement, the people worshipped him as God. Guru Maharaj Ji, the man who never gets old, he's only 16. You know, they worship him as God. Maharishi, they worship him. There is a Satan worshiping cult. I said, anything go. I want to know why Islam won't go. No, it won't go because you are not opening your mouth. You don't, you get inferiority complexes. Well, I guess I can speak because there is nothing popping up on the screen. Yeah, there's nothing. Um, this was very, very interesting to watch. Always love and enjoy his videos. Um, in America, anything is possible. It's 
what's what there's a certain term people use to refer to america like whatever you want you can achieve it in america so if there's different sectors of churches trust me more are going to come up and it's going to be welcome because that's just america you know and he gave examples of churches different baptist churches that exist in america where i don't know if he was just talking about america but i've actually heard someone say ah this church has music but yours doesn't so i can't go there i don't understand how i can focus in such a place <laughs> so it's a crazy word oh we dance in our church you don't dance in yours it's a like if you're baptist churches i thought you should actually unite and be on the same page of doing things but i guess that's not the situation all i say that's how the uh, confusion comes in i love what he said about the bible and having different writers that i agree with him that's why i was so confused that's why even when it comes to interpretation of look at when jesus, jesus turns wine into water into wine People say, but Jesus did it, so why can't we? So it's, you know, you can't argue with the way someone wants to interpret something. You really, really can't argue. People are going to do what they like and are going to uh, take something and into something they can understand for themselves, I guess. Even now, as I'm speaking, I'm, I'll be saying, I'll be giving examples, but someone's going to take my examples and say, no, she was saying she's she's not of this religion no she was saying she's part of this religion people say crazy crazy things and yet you're not saying what you're not saying you're just saying what you're saying at the end of the day uh, there's another thing that i need to pointed out if anything and everything goes in america then why isn't islam where that was a very very good question and i liked how at the end he said it's because of the inferiority factor um you have to be proud of what you believe in and before the world knows about it or a country knows about it you yourselves and your circle spread it within yourselves you understand then from yourselves reach out to other people because there's you're likely going to know people that know other people that know people that know people that know other people that you're going to want to share information with so we shouldn't look down on ourselves and say but mm, this religion is not welcome here or what a minority in this country whatever the case is just be proud of what religion you believe in and spread it among us your souls and it will spread to other people at the end of the day if that makes if, if that makes sense at all so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this if there's any other videos that you want me to react to drop the link below if there's a full video to this clip which i enjoyed watching please suggest it down below i'll be more than glad to react to it and just watch it yeah so make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video